Hello and welcome back to the Morningstar Asia Outlook for 2023. I'm Caitlin, a data journalist at Morningstar based in Hong Kong. Today we're talking about the e-commerce sector. It's been another brutal year for Chinese stocks. Companies across the board were hurting, including e-commerce heavyweights like Alibaba Group. However, Morningstar analysts have identified some positive developments to watch in 2023, including the easing of lockdowns. So what is the outlook for the next year and beyond? Today, Chelsea Tam, Senior Equity Analyst at Morningstar, is here to tell us. Hi, Chelsea. Hi, Kate. So after the 2022 earnings of e-commerce companies, what are the main takeaways for the next fiscal year? Well, I think the main uh, sort of trend is cost savings, obviously. We see uh, that, for example, Alibaba and JD really beat uh, consensus in the bottom line because of better than expected cost saving efforts. And we expect that to continue in the next year. Right. With COVID restrictions gradually being lifted, how will it play out in the consum consumption and e-commerce sectors? How long will it take for investors to see the impacts on earnings? Yeah, we think that um, the second half, uh, I mean, sorry, the second quarter this year will provide a very low base for next year. And then we'll see more recovery uh, definitely in the second half of the year next year. Um, so we will expect to see a uh, easing uh, lockdown, uh, reduce uh, restrictions that would lead to uh, more efficient and quicker logistics and delivery for e-commerce uh, companies. Um, so that should be able to help um, the revenue for these e-commerce companies. Uh, in addition to that, uh, as employment uh, gradually improve, disposable gradually improve, which will definitely take time. But I think that in the second half of next year, we'll see that come through uh, in the revenue side. And we have seen in other countries, the road to normalization can be quite bumpy with a flare up of uh, COVID cases. Is this a risk for investors in the e-commerce space? Yeah, totally. We totally expect uh, that uh, and we have expected that in our model um, and I think it's just very normal but then we have a very long-term view so we now currently now current we now currently assume that um, uh, it will take some time for China to learn how to reopen there will be some tweaking uh, in the first half of the year I don't think that second half of the year will be completely like 2019 but it will still be an improvement uh, obviously compared to uh, this year um, so that's what we are thinking about so talking about um, uh, individual names, Alibaba is now the country's largest uh, e-commerce platform, but some of the smaller peers are um, being here to take away is market share. Will this continue in 2023? Yeah, definitely. We definitely think that it will continue to lose share. Actually, we expect it to lose a GMV market share for the next uh, 10 years. Uh, because uh, first of all, I think uh, there is the rise of short form video. It will take away some share from uh, Alibaba and and uh, not just Alibaba, actually, but the whole sort of like uh, centralized uh, marketplace platforms. Uh, in addition to that, within the e-commerce platforms, um, I think JD and uh, PDD will continue to take share from uh, Alibaba. So all in all, which names in the sector do you like the most? We like uh, PDD now uh, after the earnings. Uh, it has reported two really stellar uh, like quarters. I think in the second and third quarter, it shows that it continues to grow. It spends like a, a, a growth company. It also a registered revenue like a growth company. And we are now expecting that in the long term, its margin will be similar to eBay because they are both third party. And um, um, it still has a lot of growth potential uh, in terms of upgrading to brands, uh, recruiting uh, more merchants, um, 
and uh, for uh, consumers, uh, I think that we will see more cross-selling from agricultural products uh, to other uh, categories. Right. Thank you so much, Chelsea. More analysts from our Asia offices are going to join me in a chat. Stay tuned.